Good morning, everyone. Joe here. Welcome back to my fall 2017 series. And today I'm working on my display in my bay window. And um, I'm going to use some uh, bushels there, bushel baskets. And I, I need to make some pumpkins, or I need to get some pumpkins. And I didn't really want to go out and spend more money on more of these fake pumpkins. So today what I'm going to try to do is make some pumpkins out of plastic bag, newspaper, masking tape, and paint. So let me get moving here and I'll show you what is the result. Step one is to get a plastic bag and then fill it with some paper. I just took some newspaper and I loosely crumpled it and this bag has about four pieces of newspaper in it. I, I tied the top nice and tight and now I'm going to put masking tape on and I'll show you what I'm going to do in one second. Next what I did was I wrapped the the uh, leftover plastic that was up on the top after I tied the knots uh, with masking tape to make the stem of the pumpkin and then I did one this way and one that way and then on the two angles all right and then all that's left to do is paint the stem I'm going to paint it green and then paint the bottom of the pumpkin orange. Again, I'm doing this really simple because it's going to be in my window as a display. If you were going to do this for, you know, a display in the house or something else, you, you know, you could paint these by hand a little darker and then paint this area a little bit lighter to give it a little bit more dimension to make it more realistic. I've also seen this done with, um, for outside use and then what you do is you can do uh, paper mache and you make that mixture and you put the newspaper on the outside as well and it gets nice and hard it gets like a little bit of uh, you know how paper mache is and uh, it will last longer and it will actually look better I don't have time to invest in doing that uh, so this is what's gonna have to be for my window so next up will be me painting so let me get a few more of these pumpkins made first alright so here are my plastic bag pumpkins and I've made ten of them uh, as you can see right here because I wasn't quite sure how many I needs, needed so I figured let me make these ten uh, and in reality that took I wanna say maybe twenty minutes to do okay like I said again I I, I really, I didn't go crazy, you know, like with details and stuff like that. So next will be to, I'm going to paint the stems and then I'm going to paint the pumpkins. I'll be right back with you. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover using this. Uh, here's the color. It's like that sage green that I've been using. Like I keep telling you, uh, this this the same color I used for those pine cones that I um, painted in, that you may have seen in my uh, other videos. And what I'm doing is I'm just simply spraying the tops, the stem of the pumpkin right now. That will be followed by this, right, this uh, orange. And um, I'll show you that as soon as I get one of those done. All right, so here they are after one coat of orange spray paint. They, I have to let them dry now. They're tacky already because it's very warm out. But you can see what happened is, just so you're not surprised, uh, after one coat, you you see the, uh, you know, whatever is written on the bag. If you could find bags that don't have anything written on them, obviously it's going to be a quicker process. Uh, so I do need a second coat uh, to hide that. So I'm going to let these dry a little bit more, and then I am going to give them a second coat, and then I'll flip them over and do the bottom. All right, I'll be back with you, but look at that. It looks like a punk pumpkin patch, right? <laughs> All right, so next I'm going to take some leaves. Mod Podge. Green glitter. And I'm going to make these leaves so that they hopefully pick up some light in the window. Okay. So some Mod Podge here. And then this. Next, some where I put the tape. Okay, put the silver on. And then next, I'll put some wire on the leaf. And I'm going to attach the leaf to the stem. And there you go. The leaf on it. And nice and 
glittery for the window, hopefully to pick up some light. All right, so here is my glittered uh, pumpkin patch, and I'm just waiting for all of this to dry, and then I'm going to begin placing it in the window. All right, so here's the window looking from the inside. So what I did was I put down my artificial turf right there. I put my first basket in here and I put two cans of paint in there because I wanted to give it some weight. And then I put this one on a tilt and I wired it in. You can see where the wire is right there. And then I put this one on a tilt so that it's facing out. And I also added in, uh, it's really sunny, a scarecrow right there, which I'll show you from the other side. And then what I did was I have some leaves hanging from the, I put the 3M hooks in the top of the window and I have some leaves hanging. You see, they're hanging. Okay. And I also put some leaves on the uh, window itself. All right. So let me try to see if I can see it from outside. All right, so right now there's a lot, a lot of glare, but I think you can see there is the scarecrow and the, here are the three bushels. And what I'll do is after I set it up, I'll take another quick shot and then we'll see it at night. Too. All right, so there it is. It's dusk out right now. So you can see what I did here. I put the orange lights around the perimeter of the window. And then I have two little white spotlights in there as well. And then you can see, uh, pumpkins I made from the bags and I guess I a uh, little bit of glitter is showing up a little bit uh, I have some leaves on the window as well as hanging from the top and then that little scarecrow right there so let me back back up again so you can take get a look at that okay so I hope that was a little bit helpful for you that's a really quick and easy way to make some pumpkins really cheap I think I made 10 pumpkins and it cost me about $2.80 because I had most of this stuff. Okay, everybody, take care, and I'll be seeing you soon. Remember, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll give you a thumbs up if you like this, and be, uh, be on the lookout for the next part of my fall 2017 series. Okay, everybody, have a good night. Bye-bye.